OK, so good morning and good evening everybody and welcome back in today's class. Today we are going to pick up. Some basics. Concepts. Which we. <coughs> intentionally. Left in between. Now if I say. That. I want a report when we did, when we did the reporting part. We see that we are able to create a report. But only one table at a point. Let me let me show you. <clears throat> Let's say I go here. Good. <coughs> create new. OK. So in the in the standard reporting. <clears throat> so like you can see here table is let's say incident. There's no other way to select the second table so that we can get our. Results right? So let's say if I say Namrata or Trevor, tell me how many furniture you have in your house. <clears throat> or how many furniture you have in your four houses. Or how many furniture you have in your house and your office. I guess that will be actually good. The last one. So you can <coughs> create a report either on the you can get a report you can get two different reports on the two different table one report on the home furniture and one report on the office furniture now how you will make a make sure and you will make sure that if i club everything it should be identical like say in office i have a dining table in home, I also have a dining table, so it should be counted as a one. Not the two. It is it is not possible. With the standard reporting method that you can get a report in the two tables in a one go. Then service now say don't worry. We have a solution for this and they bring a solution that is called the database view. If you. Study RDBMS. Rational database management or the database management, you will get this concept in that part. What it say? It is a combination of one. And more table. I'm not putting or because if you put or then it will work for the one table. No, for one table we have the standard reporting. One and more table. At least two tables are required if you want to work on the database view. So it means, and it is it is nothing. It is just it is just like a work as a table. But it is mainly used to do the reporting. <clears throat> that is the number one part. Second point. Did service now recommend to use the database view? Because now if I say this thing, Namrata is happy. Namrata can say, OK, now I can calculate the furniture in all the locations or in all the <coughs> places, office, cafe, house, theater. I can club everything together. But did service now recommend this part? Not completely. Reason. The reason is that because if we use the database view, we are multiplying number of tables in a one go. Let let, let me come to the practical part of these things. <clears throat> I want a report where from the incident table. 
along with SLA is met where and not as per now if I remove this part you can get a report with the standard reporting part but if I add this one then it is not a standard reporting because category you will get from incident table but in SLA there is no category so it means there's a two table one is called incident one is called the task SLA from incident you will get the incident number and category <clears throat> you will get a SLA now there should be something common in these two table which can club the results. If you remember in the database, we use the general queries like this. Select star from employee table where department is this and get the results from the department table as well. Department name, department ID. <clears throat> so it means I need something common in these two table. And what is common? <coughs> because in this table, there is an incident has been attached to SLA. And now in the third step, we have to be club or we have to be match incident, this incident, this incident. So now how the result will be the incident category SLA. It means what it say to us in the database view, we have a clause which says where close because you want to match it. Only then you can get a result. We are using database when database use view is mainly used for the for the reporting or showing the data in some of the formats. Again, in my previous account where I worked earlier, we use database view very heavily. And you will be surprised my customer ask anything like this. They want, I need a database, I need a report of the change table and the risk results. <coughs> And the risk assessment table. And also I want the approval table as well. So it is it is a heavy one. Now the question come why service now did not recommend this completely. If I say OK, let's get a report. I want all the incident number where a problem record has been generated and has been fixed by a change. So if I take this example and you think from the consulting perspective, you will see that we are using the three major tables. <clears throat> Incident, change and the problem. These three table itself are the heavy tables. And if I put the database view on this and I run a report, it may impact my system performance. Let's say in a single day I receive 5000 incidents. In a single day, my problem team work on the thousand of problems. And in a single day, the complete team execute more than 3000 changes. So now can you imagine the combination permutation? 1000 incident, <coughs> sorry, 5000 incident into 1000 problem into 3000 changes. Can you imagine this now? What the big number? Because ultimately the query which you put, that need to go in the database. So how it work for this 5000? I will check any problem exists. 
Yes. Get the result. Let's say from thousand reports, I got eight hundred reports. It is a problem. Now from eight hundred into three thousand, because every problem record will be checked with the every change, and I find that any change exists. Let's say I got fifteen hundred. So now to display this 1500 records, I'm going to be combine all these three things. But again, the important point which matter. What is the common in all these things which can build a relationship? A employee has a department. Right? Department has a <clears throat> Sub department maybe. Sub department has a unit. A unit has a branch. Now if I do this <coughs> mapping together, then I will be able to find out the results. Number is not happy. Atul, if this is the reason, then why are you telling to us? Because it is a customer demand. And that is what I'm saying. is a view, not the actual table. You just see it. You cannot say it is actual table. This is what the purpose of the database view. I'll show you one example and then we'll proceed further. So the basic query has been or basic thing has been ready. I want a report of the incident and the SLA table. Let's say. From incident, I cannot get the SLA <coughs> detail, and from the SLA, I did not get the complete incident details. Now let's go here and go to the database view. So you can see as of now, I have 134 database view given by service now. Let me show you the incident one. These are the those topics, specifically this database view. I as a develop, I as a consultant don't need to do anything from the development perspective, but I need to be get the details from the customer that what type of or what tables he's looking for. And we'll make sure that this table should not get this. If I create this database view, it should not impact my performance. That is more important for me. So you can see what it says. This database is join incident to SLA task to report to the things like incident resolved by SLA per incident category. You, you, if you want, you can try this simple thing in the standard reporting. You cannot do because in this part you cannot get the SLA detail completely. So what we have to do? <clears throat> create the name. Create the database with this. You can put the label and the plural. OK, it is something for the recognition purpose. I, I don't know the exact meaning of this plural here. But it says the name you put this put S at the end and use it. OK, this is the simple way. The important point which we need to be see is the table. Which table I am combining it. So I want the results from the task SLA. So I say this is my first table. <coughs> Here. One thing which I put here is the variable. Now let's say in an incident table, I have a number field. Okay. And in the task SLA also, I have a number field. When I run a report, it's showing like me number, number. Now tell me 
which number presenting for the which table? There should be. <coughs> there should be some identification. Like in a place where you stay, maybe in the society, maybe in the in kind of a. Big areas, so sometimes we get two people with the same name. Then how we save the number in the in our phone? Either we put the prefix as a flat number or either we put the suffix as a flat number. <clears throat> or maybe we save the number with their son name or their origin police, something like this. We, we, we store it. OK. So to do this part, service now say let's use a variable prefix. The table you're using put this as a prefix. <clears throat> I will show that how it's going to be work for us. And put the number as a hundred. OK. It means I am running this database view and I'm getting the fields. All the fields from this table. Now. Let's say in my incident table. Sorry, in my task table, task SLA table, I have a 500 records. OK. Now the second part. Which is important. Incident table prefix INC order 100. And this thing is important to understand. <coughs> Here. <coughs> We're discussing this part, right? In this table, I have an incident number. In this table, I have an incident number. Very intelligent. We know Atul. If this incident number match with this incident number, we can get a result. But service now say don't work on the numbers. Work on the <clears throat> because I can manually change the number as well. Auto increment I can manually change. But C C D nobody can change. So what they are saying, task SLA table. This is the prefix which we have in the previous table. Underscore task is equal to incident underscore C C D means go to the task SLA table and get the task. Task means it's a record, it's a number. If that is equal to the incident which I'm fetching from here, sys ID, get those results. So what I'm saying, let's say I have a, let's say in the task table, I have a 10 incidents. Okay, one, two, three. <clears throat> And this has a A, B, C. I'm putting this as a C side. Let's say this is e, G, G. Now on the other side, in my incident table, I have a 15 number. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, let's say 20. And C S I D is Z X Y A B P O C D F G <clears throat> Now what this where close will do? It will pick up the number <coughs> C ID from here. It will pick up A and go here and find out where is the A. It found A is here. Chalo. Bring it. Logically, our things are little wrong <clears throat> because these numbers should be similar. 
or let's say why I'm saying the sys ID. This is this is I'm putting the sys ID. OK, so it will bring. And this way that your. Break close will work and find the result. So here. A, B, C, D, E, <coughs> e, e F and G. These records will bring and show me the data. Now let me show you how it's look like. Let's try it. <coughs> now you can see. Hmm, Atul, but what is the difference? C. Incident underscore number. This is the table. This is the prefix which you put. This is from the incident table. This is from the incident table. This is from the task table. SLA. This is again from the task table. Ah, that's fine, but where are the other fields? Click. Here. And you can see it. See. Incident active, task as selective. If fields are not common in the two tables, then there's a no issue. It will not show any prefix. But if there's a common fields, then it will show like this. Created, 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 created. So this created is for the incident table. This created is for the task as selected table. Let's come down. Society. This is what it check actually. <coughs> it check this and this. <coughs> if you want to see, go here. To see, go here. Let's see. <coughs> see. So it check in the task. It go and check the society of this, and then check the incident table. Go and check the society of this. If it matches. It show me the result. This is what about the database view. And now when you create a report, let's say I go here. If I go here and click on the create new. <clears throat> and here I can. Select. Incident. <clears throat> and SLA, right? This was the name of the view, so you can see here. Now I can build my report on the top of that. <coughs> this is what the purpose of the database. View. Not tell me any doubt, any question here, any clarification required. The game is all about the where close. If you put the wrong where close, your results will be wrong. I saw the example where we put. <clears throat> four or five or six tables as well together. But it made the report so heavy. So in this case, we told our customer don't run this report every five minutes. Let's say I'm putting incident, incident SLA, change, problem, problem SLA, change SLA, change task, problem, task, and incident together. I can create a database view for you, but I strongly recommend don't run this report at every five minutes, every 10 minutes. No. If you want to run the report, run at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day. <clears throat> Clear, guys, everybody. Any doubt? Rajesh, Namrata, Trevor, any doubt, any question? <clears throat> Just a one one query, Atul. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, okay, I got it that this database view is something like a combination of two tables. 
more so, than uh, more than two tables or one more than one table i can say okay uh, okay uh, if in case we want to create a report like a combination of two graphs so two graphs means two types no 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 that can be achieved via the performance analytics okay okay so if you want to create a let's say you want to create a two different graph then okay. create a two different reports on this particular database view with the two different graphs okay but you cannot create a two graphs in a single report that's not possible even that is not possible via pa as well performance analytics not possible okay so so let's say you have only one cup of milk with you you mm. cannot say that i can make a four cup of coffee and four cup of tea from this milk no right so okay. you can do you can half if half it but you cannot achieve everything there for yeah for example like if i want to combine a uh, created uh, incident and also the resolved incident so that is not possible that is that is possible see that is <coughs> that's all about conditions nothing else okay can can you elaborate a little bit this query when you say resolve and created i i want the uh, want one graph uh, mm. like will be the way but uh, incident will be created in one year and uh, that incident like incident will be resolved in one year so two graph lines either by the yes, yes yes let let me put them. so if you go here configure you can put your conditions easily you can put your conditions that created incident created before one year or mm. last two year might be this year and both resolved <coughs> before after one year but will it give two different data like uh, na 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 how how it will do it is a combination right and like, i want the one one graph no, 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 no. in that case you have to get the two different reports Okay, so even performance analytics will not no. do that. Like how? See, see, think practically, how this possible? Can you make a, again? I'm I'm putting the same example. Can you? You have only one glass of water. Hmm. Can you make sweet and salty together with the one glass of water for the two people? Possibly not. If if I want to serve a complete glass. For the water to different people, then I need one more glass so that they both can be have a full glass of water. Mm. Data is there. Mm. After that, it's up to you that how many reports you want to create. Mm. And and it's all about the data. Okay, let's say we we say that thirty percent people are service now architects, mm. right? Mm. now from this 30 from this 30% people i can create another data as well out mm. of the out of those 30% 10% are the serial architects okay you, you can you can make a results different results but in a single report you cannot make a two different conclusions it's not possible okay right so that that is the reason we have to be sometime we have a solution just in front of us but we are making things so complicated and thinking in the other direction it's not it's not a not a criticism to you or discouraging it's a basic problem which we as a human being think mm. and it is well said in in our ba industry it is well said start the solution from your nearby only okay it is not a it is not every time that you have to be think a rocket science mm. right <coughs> so that is the thing okay understood okay any other question rajesh trevor or pooja <coughs> okay now i'll go to another topic we know in the beginning when we started this discussion on the tables i told you that when i create a new table i can extend it from the task table as well 
or any other table as well. <coughs> I'll, I'll give one, one example. <clears throat> Being a father, when my son get married and he will be in his young age and I'm getting my old age, I will say, OK, everything is yours. All property which I have, it's all yours. Now, generally parents say it's all yours. <clears throat> OK, it means in this case. My debts. And my credits. Both are yours. My profits and my losses. Both are yours. If I'm an independent. Boy, I'm an independent son. I'll say dad, no problem. Keep your debt. Keep your credits with you. I'll pay your debts. What I'm doing, I'm changing the behavior which I'm receiving from my parents. This is what, what is happening in the generation. It is easy to see the memes or the, or the post or the reels. In my age, I am 1984 born. In our age time, Sunday was the only day when everybody sit together and we watch DD1 a program for the two hours and having the breakfast together. And then in the evening, four o'clock, we watch the movie together. Only only, only in week, week, one day is there for the family. But now things has been changing. Oh, you want to watch a movie? Let's put on the screen and let's everybody watch today. So few things we opted, few things we not opting or changing. I'll not say, not opting, let's say we are changing it now. From the joint family, we are coming to the nuclear families. I know that how the joint family look like because I was there, but my kid don't know. Even he don't have his grandparents nearby him. Okay, so now the question comes. Namrata again confused. Rajesh again smiling. Atul, how you are relating this with the with the our service now? So when we say that we are extending our table, we are creating our table and extending the task table. So everything which is mentioned in the task table, we're getting that as well. So incident table has been created on the basis of the task table. It means if in the task table, this field, let's say, I'm, let's me go here. <clears throat> now let's say I created this form or I created this table from the task table. Now if I go here, it is coming from the task table. In the task table, it is not mandatory, but I want to make it mandatory. Now what to do? Right? Because I cannot say if if our parents are from the old generation, they are not supporting the the career perspective of a woman or the or the female or the girl. It doesn't mean that I also should not support. No, no, I'm supporting it. I want if my wife want to work, my daughter want to work, they should work. If my daughter want to study, she should study for a higher studies as well. It means I need to make a change in the behavior which I'm getting from the my parents. This concept is called the dictionary override. These fields you are seeing here. We are calling them a field. We are calling them an attribute. But in service now term, these are the dictionary entries. These are not the fields. Service now never say it's a field. They say it's a dictionary entry. So if you see here, right click. Did you find anything called the configure a field? No, we are saying configure dictionary. Right. So if I want to make a change, the behavior which I'm getting from the parent table, that is called the dictionary override. Again, in this case, 
as a consultant, I don't need to be worried. If my customer says I want to make it mandatory, I just have one question. Why? What you want to achieve with the making it mandatory? He says because <coughs> if I did not put the assignment group, people are bypassing it. when they're moving the incident from the new to in progress state. Valid ask. It is a valid ask. Maybe my customer say, no, no, I want category to be mandatory. I want short description should be or description should be mandatory when I'm saving it. Then what to do here? We have two options. Number one, click here and go to the configure dictionary. <coughs> So it will take me on the form from where this field is coming. See, this field is coming from the task table as a reference assignment group. If you make it mandatory here, in this case, wherever this field has been used, irrespective it's an incident it's a change it's a problem it's a request it's a knowledge it become mandatory rajesh says that this was your ask no my ask was i want to make it mandatory only for the incident table not for everybody else right so it is not the right option then what to do Atul? scroll down and you will find this Related list called the dictionary override. Now see the curiosity. Till now, you guys just worried about the mandatory. Now, Trevor thinking, if I can make it as a field mandatory, can I do some other operation as well from the dictionary override? Atul, in the task table, when I in the from the task table when I put this field, it get a priority four. I want to make it priority three as a default. Can I do it? Yes, you can do it. Let me show you here. So it is in the dictionary override. <clears throat> so this field is already mentioned here. Maybe they are changing some behavior. Let me show you. Let me create a here name. So that I can show you that what we want to be achieved with this. <clears throat> Whatever. Ah, see, it says because dictionary override is good, but not 100% recommended at every time. Think carefully. Is it not a good option if I make an assignment group mandatory for every table from where the task table has been ext extended? This is the reason that when I say if you need to get a new field for your requirement. You along with your architect need to be think in which table I should create it. Shall I create on the incident table or shall I create on the parent table? So that anybody who want to extend it from in the future, <coughs> they can use that field. Very carefully we have to be think. So now Let's come here. It says as of now, these are the parameters. Attribute is tree picker true, mandatory false, read only false, display false. Task display column as a number. It says on which table you want to apply it. I want to apply on the let's say the change table. <clears throat> or let's say incident table only. That will be good for us. Incident table. And these are the operations you can do. Override reference qualifier. If you let me open it. <clears throat> if I want to make so now it is a reference qualifier from the group table. If you want to make a change here, you can change it. Let me try sys underscore user over a dependent in this case if you see subcategory is dependent on the category 
but I want to remove this dependency, then you can click on the override dependent. Override attribute, I have no idea that what attributes they will be saying. Default value. It's 10. Override calculations. Maybe some frequ some currency calculation you want to do, you want, you can override. Override mandatory. Yes. Mandatory to yes. And now click on the submit. <coughs> It says it's a duplicate entry. Means you already have on the same table and on the assignment group, you already have something to be built up. Like if I go back here. And let me reopen it again. <coughs> Configure dictionary. Why I'm getting error? Because it already exists. So in a single table, I can create only, sorry, in a single column or in a single dictionary entry, I can create only one table. <coughs> so see, nothing is repeating here. Now let me open it. And now if you want to modify, qualify, yes, I want to make it as a qualifier. <coughs> I'm not sure that it will work or not. I'm, I'm really not sure. Okay. And default value. Word mandatory. Yes. And save. Now if you go here, dev n incident. It become mandatory, even though it did not show what we are looking for. It's still showing the group name. But the task which you want to be achieved, make it and mandatory, it done. So now if I want, I'm not sure about how it's work reference qualifier, <clears throat> but if I say <clears throat> I want to change the default value. Let try it. Will it work for me or not? <coughs> no, it's still not working for me. Something wrong we are doing, but practically what we want to be achieved. See, it's showing it's not showing as a red. It means value is already there. If it is not mandate, if it is not filled, it should be red. It's a gray now. It means default value is working for us but it's not displaying it. Over display value. Let me try again. <clears throat> Some small bit where we are making mistake. Otherwise, our experiments are working fine. So now again, it's not showing them me the value. If I remove this, now I say, and go ahead and reload it. <clears throat> See, not showing red. It means the default value was there which we are putting it, but it was not showing. Maybe some other reason can be there. Okay. So this is what the dictionary override. So you can override the field which is coming from the extended table. But be careful. It is again not a 100% best practice. No. If you want to do, you have to have a solid justification for the same that why you want to make a change in this. Otherwise, it will appear problematic. Clear everybody till this point. <clears throat> this is a small topic which you want to be. Discuss here. Tell me guys any doubt, any question, any clarification. Trevor, Rajesh, Namrata. Any doubt, any question? Good. 
So mainly in, in this part, we did not much work. As a consultant, we did not much work. We just use or we just check what customer is looking for and we hand over to the development team. They think that what to do now. OK. OK, now let's come to the last point or the last topic. It's, it's a small topic. I want to just. Tell you that how it's work. <coughs> so we see about incident, right? That how or what incident management is there. To support incident, we have a. Knowledge management. We have a knowledge management. OK, knowledge management is there. Which contain the knowledge articles. Knowledge articles. <coughs> is is one of. What I can say. Is the place. Which go through via a specific process. OK, like. Let, let me give you the example. Not sure that from where I get these examples. In a big universities. Like I'm in my hometown, we have the university which has more than 50, 60 departments. Urdu, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Chemistry, Bio, Physics, Micro, Microeconomics, Math, Stats, a lot of lot of lot of departments are there. <coughs> Every department. Has its own library. Plus. My university has a central library as well. Which has a lot of books from the different different. Areas from the also from the different different. Departments. People who are from the. Having the university I card. They can go in any of the. They can go only two libraries. Number one, they can go to central library or number two, they can go to their specific. Department library. In our service now in our knowledge management. We have a concept called the knowledge base. OK, if I say knowledge base means it is a first and a high level category. Which tell you. I'm saying you not as a user, you as an admin. That where this article should be created. If I say OK. I am expert in the tax saving. And I want to create an article. <clears throat> under which knowledge base it will go. It will go to the finance. Under finance, I have a categories and subcategories. Under finance, I have a tax, house tax saving, car tax saving, tuition tax saving. Under car, or under sorry, I have a vehicle tax saving. Under vehicle, I have a category: two wheeler, three wheeler, four wheeler, heavy vehicles electric <coughs> vehicles. And then I put my <coughs> <coughs> article under that. This is what the overall look like. Let me show you here. <coughs> knowledge. Let's say I want to get a new knowledge article. We are not going to discuss the process here. This is not the intention for this particular topic. Intention just to show two or three things only. Mean, mainly part. OK, so you can see here the knowledge base. If I click here. I can see these many knowledge bases are there. 
the top most high level category i'm saying <clears throat> Now see the magic. <clears throat> OK. Everything is blank. Let me put the knowledge base as a IT. It is important to understand. From where this date is coming. Any idea from where this date is coming? Namrata, Trevor or Rajesh. Any idea from which attribute, from which flow, from which source it is coming? Because customer says, I want to make a change. If I'm creating any article today, it should be reviewed or valid up to six months. Ah, Atul, that's fine. Now you can do it manually. Why I do it manually? I'm using a system. Why should I do it manually? So now come here and let me search for the knowledge properties. <clears throat> this one. No, 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 this, not this one. Knowledge. <clears throat> this sorry, this is coming from this <clears throat> two places. It it can come from the knowledge base number one. <coughs> if I open it, see, it is blank. Now number is not happy. So come on, you are saying it is coming from the knowledge base. It is not coming from here. It is coming from the properties for here. Click on these properties <clears throat> and you can see here. Oops. It's on the valid. OK. <clears throat> it asks for the validity as well, <clears throat> and we put the days. Where this property gone. <clears throat> put it service now remove this. Number of results, not this one. No. <clears throat> I need to be checked. It is coming from this property. It is coming from the system properties directly. Or you can define this property in the knowledge base as well. Here. I'm mixing two or three things here because these all are the interrelated. So let's say. <clears throat> I have this knowledge base. OK. <clears throat> I have this knowledge base. I can put like 30. OK. The knowledge management, if you create any article here. It will get approved by whom it will get published by whom do I need to be approved before publishing? Yes or no. Everything depend on your knowledge base. <clears throat> like it's like if you are going in your department library and you have a good relationship with your library head you can take a book without card as well it's not a case but very exception very exception you can take it so your knowledge base decide everything and see it has a two workflows <clears throat> 
who is the these two workflows if I open it. If you remember that when we started this workflow, but I, I told you guys read about this out of the box workflows. This is what we have a workflows here. I don't know if it will work here and open here or not as a picture. But if you go here and search for the workflows. Then you can get this easily. Come here and search. See, for the knowledge, I have a six. My God. Approval, publish, approval, retire, instant, publish, instant, retire, publish and retire. The difference in these for the approval, publish before you publish. It will be approved by someone. Who is someone that you can check in the workflow? Maybe the honor only see. Review approval knowledge based management. They have one group or they have maybe some person who is going to be approved. But if you open this instant publish, it don't have any approval. It's up to you. That what you want to do here. So if I come back our knowledge article, I can see here. Who is the honor? You want to disable the commenting, suggesting, category editing, rating means these things a user cannot do when it get published. User cannot do. <clears throat> if you scroll down, these are the articles which has been mapped to this particular knowledge base. Who can read? who can contribute and what are the categories it contains. It contains eight categories. News application devices like this it has. Now let's let's go here. Now number this or let me reload it. Uh, first let me save this. <coughs> so that my validation date should be updated now. Let me reload this page. So now if I put IT here. And you can see. 30 days are there now. It's coming from your knowledge base. Now category. <clears throat> because we are human beings, we are never satisfied with the system. Atul, can I get a new category? Yes, click new. LNG training. Hmm, good. So one subcategory, please. Okay. One more subcategory. You want, you can create it, but I guess up to four level. You can get n number of categories or subcategories. Click OK. So it's there now. <clears throat> Put your topics this and where you want to show do you do you <coughs> check this in your in your shopping time when you are doing a shopping let's say you're doing a shopping on amazon for the phone mobile phone in the down you get a <coughs> related products headphones microphones webcam case cover Everything you mentioned. This is what where you want to show this particular article. You can put the related products here. <clears throat> you can see. You can put it the products here easily. That, that's fine. That's <clears throat> logically fine. And now if I click on this save. I'll get a publish or retire. If I click on the publish, 
it will go in the knowledge base and check for publishing. I have approval. It means it will go for the approval for my <coughs> user. See knowledge item in the review state. What happened to the previous one? Oops. Where is the upper word? <coughs> Are It is gone. <clears throat> You're not showing it all as well. Let me go here, knowledge base, and now check. Definitely, if you put in the right knowledge base, it will come here as well. <clears throat> Let me refresh the list. Ah, 34 here. So now, if I open it, <clears throat> it's in the review state and scroll down and you can see it go for the pendant level. Who is this? This person is coming from the knowledge base. <coughs> the owner of this knowledge base. See. Once it approved, then it get published. So it's it's depend. It's depend on you that why or how you want to configure it in the system. This is important for everybody. This is what I want to be sure because knowledge management has two tricky things. Customer don't want that every article should get reviewed. Then make a different workflow and the different knowledge base. And I want different different validity date for the different different knowledge bases. <clears throat> then you can use this the knowledge base perspective. Clear everybody, any doubt? Any question, any clarification? Puja, Trevor, sorry, Namrata, Trevor, or Rajesh, any doubt? Okay, good. So with this, today we completed our three topics, a small topics. Let me stop the recording and we'll take attendance now. Thank <clears throat> you.